or? It's something that I thought about, but being from such a small agency, I never really thought it would be possible. So when the opportunity arose, I jumped on it, and, and here I am. What, what was kind of the hardest part for you going through the academy? <sighs> I think accepting the fact that I'm the weakest link in the team. Like, he, he knows what he's doing, he doesn't really need me. So uh, once I figured that out and I just started trusting him, things went a lot smoother. What are you looking forward to most about, you know, getting out of school and, and getting him out there too? I think having the opportunity to reach out to the students a little more. Um, now that I have him, I think they're gonna be more willing to come up and talk to me and I'll get to know the student body a little bit more. So I think that'll be, be a fun experience. All right. Go ahead. Yep. My name is Trooper Robert Galarza, G-A-L-A-R-Z-A. -A this is my canine partner, Fabio. Uh, he's named after Trooper Fabio Butita, who was killed in the line of duty. Troop L. Troop L, correct. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what was it? Have you always wanted to be a canine handler? Was this a goal of yours or something that just kind of cropped up in the last couple of years? Um, always been a goal of mine. Um, always big into animals. I was a veterinarian technician, and I uh, always wanted to be in law enforcement, two and two together. It's my dream job. What are you most excited about kind of getting out on the road with him? Uh, I'm looking forward to just more or less helping protect the public, especially down in Long Island. We have a lot of big events, and I think it instills confidence in people knowing that there's a canine on duty. What was the hardest part for you for the academy? The drive. <laughs> Cooperstown, New York is about five hours from Troop L, Long Island. So we were there Monday through Friday, so driving back and forth was a bit of a challenge. Did you guys have any challenges in terms of like bonding or in any of the specific things that you guys were trained in? We're definitely a tight-knit group. Uh, we live together, we eat together, we train together, so we all became very tight. Um, bonding with the dogs is probably one of the tougher things as well. The first two weeks, no sleep. But um, we all sorted it out and we're graduating today. Trooper Randall A. Shanefiel, S-H-E-N-E-F-I-E-L. My partner is Ari, A-R-R-Y. And who is Ari named after? Ari is named after uh, sta Sergeant Station Commander Harry A. Adams. So we'll start off with, is this something that you always wanted to do? Like when, when you first signed up, was it, a, was it a goal to be a canine handler? Yes, it was. Um, I was a police officer before, and when I first started out, that was one of the big, big things. One of the draws that brought you to state police then? Yes. What was the hardest part for you for, from, for the academy in terms of training? Um, I was to get in shape. Um, this time last year, they told me that I didn't know if, they didn't know if I could uh, ever use my right arm again. So uh, to be in shape and to get in shape for the test, the PT test, it took a lot. I had a great surgeon and a great physical therapist. Um, set a goal and achieve that goal. What are you most excited about getting out on the road? Um, getting to work, um, being at a new station, um, meeting new guys and all that. So getting to know the community. Different for you too. Yes. Trooper Mark Castiglione, M-A-R-K-C-A-S-T-I-G-L-I-O-N-E. Canine Partners, Amber. And who is Amber named after? Named after Trooper Robert W. Ambrose. Talk a little bit about, have you always wanted to be a handler? Was it kind of a goal once you started with the state police? Uh, I think so. After um, working the road and, and really getting an interdiction, uh, a lot of my partners and a lot of my close friends now were canine handlers, and it really inspired me to achieve this goal. What was the toughest part for you in terms of training? <sighs> Being handed a dog that you have no idea what to expect. Um, the bonding experience is probably the most challenging, but also the most rewarding. What is it like to be able to work with her, though? Uh, it's incredible to see how intelligent these dogs are and the process of them learning. It's just amazing to watch. And what are you looking forward to most about getting out from the river? Uh, with the opioid epidemic that we have, I can't wait to get back out there and hopefully keep some narcotics off of the street. Uh, Frank Rose, F-R-A-N-K-R-O-S-E. My canine partner is Canine Cully, C-U-L-L-Y. And who is she named after? She's named after investigator Bruce McCulley. He uh, was an investigator for division headquarters. He worked in the Drug uh, Enforcement Task Force and he contacted hepatitis and suddenly passed away back in 1973, unfortunately. She's fine, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. 
Have you always wanted to be a handler? Was it a goal of yours? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, they're the troop that I'm going to, Troop NYC. There's a lot of handlers down there. She's an explosive dog. Um, and actually, during my patrol, I uh, frequently run into them a lot, and it's just something that I've like looked up to them uh, for my whole career. And uh, it's it's something that I've always wanted to do, and I find it very interesting. What is it like to have a dog as a partner? Ah, uh, it's definitely different. <laughs> As challenge. you can tell, yeah, it's a challenge. Um, and the thing that you know is the most difficult part that people don't think about is that the dog lives with me. So it comes home. It has to. Not only do I work with the dog for 12 hours, I got to bring the dog home so she gets along. Thank God with my family and everybody. So it's a, uh, it's a different, it's a di different atmosphere. It's a different thing, but uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a truly a blessing. And what was the hardest part for you as far as training? Um, just being away for five months. Um, uh, away from my family it was very difficult uh, not being able to see them and then also just being handed a dog and being taught something that I had no clue about. What are you looking forward to most about getting out there with her? Um, just working. Uh, you know five months of training and um, putting in all the uh, the work with her and I just want to see her work and you know we progress as our career goes along together. I'm Connor Sutton, C-O-N-N-O-R S-U-T-T-O-N. This is my partner Skiff, S-K-I-F-F. -F. And who is Skiff named after? Skiff is named after James Skiff. He was killed in the line of duty in 1920 in Ogdensburg, New York. So talk a little bit about, is, was this always a goal of yours to be a handler when you came on the job? Absolutely. Actually, since I was a kid, it was what I wanted to do. So once I got on the job and had the opportunity to do it, it was, it was awesome. It's something I've always wanted to do. What was the hardest part for you? Uh, the hardest part is probably the uh, <laughs> the dogs are so good. The dogs are so high speed, and just trying to uh, you know learn your dog and, and their mannerisms and trying to keep up with them. And what are you looking forward to most about getting out on the road with her? Uh, I'm just looking forward to being back on the road and uh, getting back in the mix of things.